position that uh, the guys were picked up, they were arrested, uh, so they are in police custody as we speak. And that is why we continue to condemn the act of the military because uh, they are not trained to uh, effect arrest. The police uh, personnel are trained to arrest and then also to investigate matters. So all the 184 that the military uh, have arrested, they could not find even a single culprit amongst them. And so you can understand uh, what they came to to, to, to commit in their consequences. But be that is me, the police have done a human job. The IGP himself was on the ground midnight to effect the arrest. So I'm I'm happy about that situation. And so now all the 184 who were arrested can be released. Some of them uh, have gone to receive medical attention from the hospitals around, and others are still being hospitalized. And so uh, let me say that there are two uh, different groups of people. Some were arrested, uh, some were brutalized, molested, and left in the community. They were not arrested. They were the victims of the circumstances. Uh, so most of those people have also have a lot of bruises, brutalities, and then uh, other issues. Uh, so they have also gone to hospital to seek for medical attention. And what? some are still in the in the hospital as we speak. We are seeking for compensation, but aside the compensation, we are suing the Ghana Armed Forces and the government or the Attorney General because uh, we cannot allow such indiscipline to continue happening in our communities where soldiers will just uh, invade the community and molest innocent uh, residents. And I'm also uh, arranging for uh, a psychologist for them to, I mean, uh, coach them and also talk to them because it has become psychological trauma and we don't want it to get to another stage.